For those that you want to see some reel-to-reel -reel action, I have an Akai. This one's a Dolby unit. It's a 4000 dB with Dolby noise reduction. One of the few that Akai made that had Dolby noise reduction. And, well, let's see what's wrong with this one. Today I have an Akai 4000 dB. Similar to the one that I have, but this one has Dolby, right? Dolby noise reduction built in. I have one very similar to this, but mine has no Dolby. The guy that owns this obviously tried to open it up himself because when he put the knobs back on, he put them on backwards. They're upside down. But we've got a problem on this one here, and that is that the mechanism is kind of gummed up. And the, as you can see, the pinch roller is not moving, so... I don't know what damage has been done, but we're going to pull this one apart, see if we can get this one working. So that's today's project. i got to go get some Allen keys to take off the, the knob here, and uh, we'll get into this one and see what the problem with it is. It's 1.5 millimeter to remove that. It looks like I'm going to be getting a loaner car for a week or so because uh, I sent my car in because the the radio uh, wasn't receiving. The FM radio was a lot of static. So we thought maybe it was the antenna, but no, they tried a new antenna. It's the radio module. So this morning I take the car in and I'm just waiting around for them to uh, call me to tell me it's ready. They've got the radio in for it. I get the phone call and they said, well, we got your radio in. No problem. But uh, the server at the manufacturer has gone down and we can't program it. We can't get the software to program the radio. Therefore, you can have your car, but you won't have a radio, you won't have an MP3 player, you'll have nothing. You won't be able to use your navigation. We can't program it. So, you know, uh, I said, fine, get me something then to drive. So now I'm waiting for them to come out and pick me up and uh, get me a courtesy card to have for a few days until they get the software and get my car back on the road. It's almost kind of exciting. I don't know what I'm going to get. I could get some piece of crap or I could get something nice. It's almost like Christmas here. What do we have here? What is all jammed up on this one? Well, first we'll put our our control levers back on so that I can see what's jammed up on here. These cams might be broken. I think the pot metal might be broken on these things. Ah, damn. I bet that's what's wrong. The pot metal is broken. Let's look underneath this one here. Yep. Oh, unfortunately, this one here has got broken metal. The pot metal. The pot metal is shot. There you go. There's the problem on this one. I don't know how we can fix this. I'll have to give the guy the bad news. 
this is the problem with these Akai's is that these metal these metal cams break as you can see what's happened here there's a chunk of it that's missing this other one here is probably not in very good shape either is it cracked now this one hasn't cracked yet but this one here is shot normally what happens when you rotate the control is it turns this cam like this and when this cam turns it first of all there's a ball in here that that prevents the other one from turning so that you can only turn one at a time but when the cam turns what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to turn this whole metal piece which puts the the idler into place and it also this is the the pinch roller here you can see look at this just by moving it it's crumbling this piece is see it allows the pinch roller to engage but unfortunately what's happened on here is this this crappy pot metal that Akai used is uh, a shot and unless you can get replacement pieces I don't know whether these are even available there might be somebody making these now but uh, that is going to have to uh, this is going to have to go back together at this point. There's not a heck of a lot I or anyone can do if we can't find replacement parts. So, unfortunately, I don't have good news for the fellow that owns this one. I know I'm going to get a whole bunch of thumbs down from people that think I should be able to do something more than I can do on this one, but unfortunately at this point, at this stage of the game, I don't have access to parts and uh, it will require some research to see if anybody knows where these cams are available, if there are any or who's making them or whatever, um, let us know because the guy that owns this would probably be interested in fixing it. I don't know what he wants to spend on it though. I don't think he wants to spend a whole heck of a lot to uh, restore this to, rep to play a few tapes that he's got kicking around. But uh, anyway, that's where we stand on this one. Not much else I can do on it without parts. So it goes back together. It's too bad. It would have been nice to get this one running. But this is uh, one of the problems we see a lot more now with a lot of these old machines. I think back in the, when this was made, those, those parts are, I don't know if they're aluminum or what they're made out of, but the uh, Certainly didn't appear that the Japanese knew how to make them very well. It's quite a common problem. Um, I've got a 1710 that they haven't failed on, but what has gone on it is the lock. Uh, I could turn mine into forward and fast forward and rewind at the same time because that the little ball between them, it's, it, it's the metal is broken in that little ball that prevents the other one from turning it's fallen out so it's uh, unfortunate but this is what happens with a lot of these machines 
and a lot of times it's not abuse it's just the metal the fatigue in the metal the metal wasn't made properly uh, whether they didn't heat it up properly or whether they just stintered these I don't know how they made these things they're probably stintered which is uh, a process of um, basically taking metal uh, filings or metal metal chunks metal filings and compressing them under under extreme pressure to form apart like they do for bearings either that they're just cast and they're not cast very well which is also a possibility is that they just they just didn't cast them properly but uh, whatever caused the problem it's um, a lot of these Akai machines that was their fate in other words stick to Sony reel-to-reels they're much better Oh well, I tried. Not a whole lot to be done. Putting this back the way I got it. Give the guy, if it, the guy that owns it, a, a call. Let him know the bad news that uh, unless we can come up with parts, we can't save this patient. Can't, can't save them all, as they say, right? Although I do think some people shed more tears when an old piece of equipment dies. There we go. Back together. Thanks for watching. Catch you the next time.